yeah, yeah, welcome back, y'all. It is time for some new scary videos. Are you ready? I got some crazy, crazy videos by Slap Ham. You already know. Wait, y'all, let's just get to it. How you doing? I'm Callan, and this is Slap Ham. You're about to see some of the most mysterious videos going around the internet. So smash that subscribe button right now and get ready for some creepy content. Just like this. The spine tingling video recently emerged from the Facebook page 103.1 Brigada Marty City, a radio station that received a genuinely hair raising submission from one of its listeners. Captured in an unknown hospital, a patient started filming after hearing some strange noises. Take a look at what they caught on film. Watching that again, as they scan around the room, they spot a set of legs under a bed at the end of the row. But when they look up, there's no one there. Oh, hell no. Nah. <laughs> Oh, hell nah. Many have been quick to embrace a more That's paranormal crazy. explanation, positing that these legs may belong to a ghostly presence. Hospitals, where their history of life and death have long been regarded as prime locations for ghost sightings. The intense emotions, profound experiences, and sometimes tragic outcomes that occur within hospital walls contribute to the belief that residual energies or spirits may linger. Tales of ghostly nurses, phantom patients, and eerie <laughs> corridors have fueled the idea that hospitals serve as conduits for paranormal activity, making them a subject of fascination and trepidation for many. So is this really a ghost caught on camera? It's crazy how that person, is that a patient? Like, what's going on here in that room by itself? All those empty beds. Like, that's weird, right? But that's a good one if this is you know if this is not real you know that was perfectly planned like how they did the legs let me know your thoughts on this one in the that comments was good. down below so what you think is it real or oh, is it fake what? look how quick he went back there yo that's crazy that's a good one. Here's an odd one shared um, by a woman named Julie Hogarth Williams over on Facebook. From in the photo Julie posted, two young children can be seen innocently playing around. One of the kids uh, is reaching out to touch TVs. a television. <laughs> but what captures immediate attention is a mysterious hand seemingly emerging from the TV itself. Julie provided some background to accompany the photo, sharing a deeply personal narrative. Her father had passed away at the age of 52, five years before the birth of her youngest son, Jai. She firmly believes that the hand in the photograph belongs to her late father. Watching wow. That's crazy. What y'all think about this one? I mean... Yes, you could you could edit in a way, put it in it there, but it looks clean. It looks like it's children. Real. While some might find this eerie, Julie finds it comforting, citing her familiarity with paranormal activity. Hey, as long a as particularly don't striking detail that you, Julie noted is that her I'm father always wore a gold wedding band, but I won't be the hand in the TV. Now. Appears <laughs> to be wearing a distinct ring. Oh, she also said that the it. TV was off at the time and that it wasn't casting a reflection. Let me out! Let me out! Back into the real world! So the question that lingers is whether this photograph indeed captures a moment of a grandfather watching over yeah, his family which I think about this life. Is it Regardless real? of one's stance on the paranormal, the story oh, adds a touch of sweetness to the eerie image, leaving us all that to ponder legit, the mysteries uh... that lie beyond our comprehension. Mm -hmm. That looks legit. A video shared to our Slaptam subreddit by a username Zombie Paranormal has been causing quite a stir across the internet in recent weeks. Oh, she looked creepy already. Understand why? 
The clip, which has since gone viral, seems to show a chance encounter on a late night stroll. Oh, no, yo, what the hell? It's not Halloween, ma'am. What's wrong with your eyes? What is wrong? You, you went into the dark side, lady. Yo, she is freaking possessed, yo. That's a possessed demon or alien took over her body. Woo! Bye. Unfortunately, there's not a lot of extra info. But why would clip, that person be filming like that? It from spreading throughout TikTok, with many commenters noting just how eerie the encounter weird. is, despite very little actually happening. Oh, creepy. Yo. Yo, what y'all think about this one? So let me know if you've is seen this real? clip before, and do you find oh, it creepy? Oh, is it fake? Drop your thoughts down below. My thing is, why is that person recording? Like, did that person walk by her already and seen that the eyes was like that? That's crazy. I'm not getting that close if I knew her eyes is like that. I'll do that across the street, if anything. Chicago, the street. a city steeped in history, and culture, thought, and it seems it's fair share of eerie legends. Among these tales, none has captivated the imagination Ooh, quite like that of Resurrection Mary, a prominent figure in the realm of vanishing hitchhiker folklore, a narrative that spans across cultures and regions. Residing in Resurrection Cemetery, located a few miles southwest of Chicago in Justice, Illinois, Resurrection Mary is considered the Windy City's most famous ghost. The legend of Resurrection Mary has been whispered through the decades, with the story tracing back its origins to the 1930s. According to reports, several men driving along Archer Avenue, which runs between the Willowbrook Ballroom and Resurrection Cemetery, have claimed to pick up a mysterious female hitchhiker. Uh -oh. This enigmatic young woman, dressed in a white party dress, has been described as having party white blonde dress. hair, blue eyes and sometimes a thin shawl. She's known for her quiet demeanor. As these drivers near Resurrection Cemetery, the hitchhiker inexplicably vanishes into thin air, leaving behind a perplexing tale. Richard Crow, a self-proclaimed full-time ghost hunter, has collected numerous reports of Resurrection Mary. That dude looked like he's seen a lot in his lifetime with ghosts. That dude, he looks tough too. Like, yeah, bring it, bring it, bring it, go! Spanning ghost. from the 1930s right here. to the present day, her legend endures, casting a shadow over Archer Avenue. The story of Resurrection Mary begins with a fateful night at the O. Henry Ballroom, now the Willowbrook Ballroom in Willow Springs, Illinois. As the tale goes, Mary had spent the evening dancing with her boyfriend. However, an argument between them escalated, leading Mary to storm out of the ballroom. She began walking up Archer Avenue, but her journey took a tragic turn when she was struck and killed by a hit-and-run driver. The heart-wrenching discovery of her lifeless body devastated her parents, who laid her to rest in Resurrection Cemetery, clad in a beautiful white dancing dress and matching shoes. The hit-and-run driver responsible for her demise was never apprehended. Dang. The legend of Resurrection Mary persists, punctuated oh, by reported snap. sightings and eerie encounters. In 1939, Jerry Palouse recounted an encounter with a woman he believed to be Resurrection Mary. They danced and had a few drinks, and she requested a ride home along Archer Avenue. Yet as they approached Resurrection Cemetery, she vanished, leaving Jerry bewildered. Over the years, mm. numerous incidents involving Resurrection Mary have been documented. What would you do if you, you picked up a supposed person, you know, in the middle of the, what, the, the forest, or the, the, the wilderness, whatever, the woods, on the highway, by yourself with wearing a wedding dress, you know, um, not speaking at all? Would you stop your car to ask what is wrong? Do you need a ride? Would you do that? And if so, leave it down below your comment. I sure wouldn't. I'll call 911. Appearances at nightclubs to encounters <laughs> with cab drivers and motorists, the tale refuses to fade into obscurity. 
In 1976, her alleged handprints were reportedly burned into the cemetery's wrought iron fence. Although Damn. cemetery officials dismissed the claims as the result of a truck damaging the fence. The mystery surrounding Resurrection Mary's true identity remains unsolved. Some researchers have attempted to link her to Mary Bragovi, who died in a 1934 automobile accident in That's downtown crazy. Chicago, although this theory presents its inconsistencies. In recent years, there has been growing interest in the possibility that she might be Anna Maria Norcus, who made her tragic end in a 1927 auto accident while returning home from the O. Henry Ballroom. Resurrection Mary's enigmatic presence continues to cast a haunting aura over Archer Avenue, reminding all who travel its path that the line between reality and the supernatural can blur in the most I won't be ways. going to Archer the Avenue. legend endures, leaving no. those who dare to ponder its mysteries no. with more questions than answers. I'm fine. That's messed up, though. Hit and runs, man. Yeah, that's just messed up, man. In the age of social media, the unexplained and the supernatural often find their way into the spotlight, captivating audiences worldwide. One such case that's left TikTok users on the edge of their seats involves a user known as Maddie Marga Racy, who appears to be living in a house plagued by eerie paranormal occurrences. For some years now, Matt has suspected that his home might be haunted. Ooh. Strange and eerie occurrences have been spooking the family. Things like eerie whispers, objects moving, and lights turning on and off. Or okay, I need to see like a, a shadow guy or something. You know, I, I just can't see stuff moving. You know, it could be people there playing with it, you know. I need to see evidence so it could be real or at least near real for me frequent events in this family home. The activity eventually became so frequent that Matt was able to capture a lot of the incidents on camera mm -hmm. and post them to social media. Let's see. In this first video, he recounts an incident while engrossed in a game of Call of Duty. Bro, so I'm playing hard. I got my headset on. I got one ear on, one ear off. And I hear somebody whisper in my ear, bro. This is insane. So I go back to playing card and then somebody touches my foot, bro. Eventually, oh, hell this no. happens. So that's how I know. There's something in the room. There's something in this house. There's a ghost, and I've been saying it for years. And look at the fing Oh! You know? The chilling saga continues oh, in the second video no. where Matt wants to. Hold up, hold up. In a second video. No, 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 no. Something touches my foot. That's the end of the video, dude. I'm not even staying in that room. And, and, and then the drawer opens by itself? And I'm going to be waiting there till later on in the same place in the room. No, I'm done, dude. And engrossed in his video game makes a startling discovery. Look at this, bro. Oh, no, the bro. door's moving. Nobody is home. My f***ing family is in Cancun, bro. You got to be kidding me. A nearby door eerily closes by itself, prompting him to... What do you guys think about this one? Is it real? Or oh, is it fake? Yeah, further. You gotta be kidding me. It looks legit Bro. though. What the f As he ventures into the hallway, oh, flickering that lights dog downstairs yeah. catch his attention. Are you kidding me right now? Are you kidding me right now? What the f Yo, that's, Descending the that's stairs, creepy. he enters the bathroom oh, to find running water goodness. in the sink, a perplexing sight for someone who's supposed to be home alone. Oh. His unease intensifies when he notices a door open that he's. Yo, when you go in these rooms, man, you have to you have to turn every direction, man. I don't, you know, because you have it up like that, someone could easily go right underneath it, you know, and, and then act like. No one was in there. That's the only it's problem I have with this right now. Locked. Why is the door open? This is looking legit. What the f is going on? A third video paints a similar harrowing a picture. A third video. I'm playing cod. My whole PlayStation turns off. And this door opens up by itself. And it was closed. I Yo, I think this freaking spirit is a freaking... So a loser, yo, and hating on your video game, dude. Like, 
How is your game, every time you're playing a game, is messing with you? I just feel like that spirit used to play, you know, Call of Duty, and, and got his butt kicked a lot. So he's hating. That's my theory. <laughs> the lines are once again flickering. This time he even shows the switches for the lines. Yeah, but some... And the light's going again. Go run down there real and quick. And the light's going again. And right there is the light switches to that light. He investigates further. But how we know? Nobody's f***ing home. Go touch those switches so we oh, know. My Turn it on and off. God. Eventually, Matt decides to leave his house. Yo, this While is... While outside, this is he sees this. Oh, nah. This is oh, crazy. my God. Did you guys just see that? Bro! In a subsequent video, yeah. Matt captures more strange activity while watching TV. I'm sitting here watching the Wait, how many days are this? Your, your family's still away from Cancun? Like, how many days is this going on? Because once you left the house, you shouldn't have came back that same day. Or the next. Or the next. Or ever. <laughs> and I heard what sounded like this stove opening close. I'm not even around bro that shit 1000 i know what it sounds like when the stove opens and closes Me too. Oh, shit. the situation takes a peculiar turn mm -hmm. when matt reveals that a paranormal professional advised him to cease filming these incidents as it could potentially anger the alleged spirits haunting his house further go play call matt duty. temporarily play relocates game. to his girlfriend's house leaving his sister to confront the eerie events he endured i stopped filming I actually left my house for a little bit, <laughs> and I, um, you, you know, I've been staying at my girlfriend's house. You call 911? The videos have left viewers with an unsettling <laughs> mystery. What precisely is happening Yo, in this is house? crazy. That was Today, good. Today, no updates good. have emerged regarding the ongoing paranormal activity. One can only hope that Matt finds answers soon, and ultimately the peace and so, solace he seeks in his own what you home. you think? Is it real? What the? Oh, is it fake? Yo! That was a good one. It's kind of realistic. Number two. Shh. A recent Shadow. TikTok video uploaded yes. by user Annalise VD Westwee. Let's go. Has viewers Shadow guy. The video features oh, some home security footage Coming. recorded on December 12th, 2023 at the uploader's residence. First glance, the video appears to be Ooh! security footage. We see you, Shadow Guy. However, it's what unfolds in the first few seconds that has viewers on edge. Do -do 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 -do. Unless that's a shadow on top. A strange shadow appears out of nowhere. I mean, you could do a shot on the opposite side, though. Viewers are split on this one. Uh, Some say it's nothing more than a classic bug on the lens, but others aren't convinced, I'm noting that the shadow appears oh. humanoid in shape. It's so what do you than... think? Ghoul or bug? Cast no your idea. votes down below. What do you guys think? Is it real? Or is it fake? Looks legit to me, but before but we take a look I at some unsettling else. footage captured in Japan, remember to hit that subscribe button, then tickle that little bell it icon there, and turn on all channel that notifications. That way you'll be in the loop every time we drop our scary and creepy videos. A series of videos posted on TikTok by user C Blue SM has left Number viewers one. both fascinated and Haunted. spooked. Filmed somewhere in Japan, these eerie clips document what the homeowner believes to be paranormal activity Shadow in residence. Creature. Shadow For some time guy. now, the Let's homeowner go. has harbored a belief that their house is haunted by an otherworldly presence. In an attempt to document the inexplicable occurrences, they've embarked on a series of experiments to capture evidence of the supernatural. The first video, filmed in an undisclosed location, shows the uploader navigating through the house. Suddenly, they hear some strange footsteps. Oi there. Oh, that's creepy. Oh, 
Yo! In the second video, the TikToker stands at the top of a staircase. Second video, hold on, hold on, hold on. We gotta go back to that. Second video, you crazy? Did you see what just happened? Look, the plastic just went rip. Yo! In the second video, the legit. TikToker stands at the top of a staircase and knocks a few times, seemingly trying to establish communication with any entities mm -mm -mm. that might be present. <laughs> Yo, that entity is freaking messing with you. Motion sensor lights flick on. Pistol. <laughs> Yo, that spirit just over there just doing some construction work downstairs. Ignore it. <laughs> One of the most intriguing videos features the uploader using <sighs> two rolls of toilet paper on a stick, positioning it between the wall. So we have toilet to show there. What, you think the, the ghost, the spirit, whatever it is, it needs to wipe his butt because and that's why he's banging. He's on a toilet without no toilet tissue. Perhaps. Let's see. Also the staircase. Come wipe your buddy. The toilet paper unravels seemingly oh, its own accord, no. suggesting an unseen presence at the bottom of the stairs. Yo, dude is just randomly, yo, he just filming it, well, no problem. No way, no way, no way. But the enigma doesn't end there. Another video portrays what appears to be a nah, spirit engaging that's in the crazy. of Jenga, defying the laws of the physical world. <laughs> So it wants to play. That's good. Just don't win. It's gonna be pissed off. You gotta always let the spirits win. In this final experiment, something final quite experiment transpires. Nah. One experiment, I'm done. What the frick is? What is that? What the hell is that? Black stuff. This is crazy. Unfortunately, these videos lack substantial Yo. context, leaving viewers to so speculate about think? the nature of the supernatural events is it depicted. Real? As the mystery <laughs> deepens, many are left hoping for answers that may one day shed light on these eerie that encounters. That toilet tissue joint is crazy. Until then, these videos continue to captivate and unsettle I like that TikTok one. users. That was scary. Reminding us that the realm of the unexplained is often stranger than we can even imagine. Wow.